everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans and Get This is my adorable little fuss budget kitty, Zeno Asagiri. And today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kanojo Agashimasu, aka Renter Girlfriend Chapter 236. So before we get into this recap and live reaction, let us just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored, and we are just a one woman in one of adorable little kitty operation and we are really struggling uh to keep a roof over our heads and praying that uh year 33 which is next sunday for me yeah next sunday is my birthday and i'm praying to god that uh it's not gonna start off with me and kitty sleeping on the streets right kitty right keys but, but, but if you love what we're doing, I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to head over to Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. Yeah, Kitty! So, I swear to fucking God, Yamori just continues to save this manga, and this is why she is the queen. Anime onlys aren't ready for her. Nah, they aren't ready for the queen. I can't wait to see the reaction of the anime onlys. I can't wait for it. Oh my god, I love Yamori so much. She put um, Jizuru in her place last week. And it was amazing. It's amazing. I love her. I love her. Oh my god. Oh my god. I swear to God, anime adaptation, I think it's TMS Entertainment that does the anime adaptation. If you fuck up my girl Yamori, I'm going to be so mad. Do not fuck her up. Do not give her helmet hair realness. Do not um, fuck up her uh, body. Like, don't, um, like, make her boobs smaller. Don't, don't do any of this stupid shit. Make my girl look beautiful. Get the right voice actress for her. Do my baby justice. I'm gonna be pissed. Anyways, I hope we get the confrontation this week with Chizuru and Kazuya. If we don't, we have to wait until my birthday week next week. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this weekend. My queen is on the cover. She looks beautiful. Look at the outfit she's wearing. I love this outfit. I do. I love this outfit. The position is great. Look at that pose. That pose is fabulous. She's coming to whoop your ass. <laughs> She's coming to whoop this fucker's ass and back in the shape. Oh, God. Her hair looks fabulous, too. I love her. Someday, I will cosplay as Yu Yamori. It will happen. It will happen someday. <sighs> when I'm financially stable, it will happen. Oh, with full body and soul, she's breaking in head on. Yes! She's the A in the ABCs of realizing love. Reggie, I fucking love you for this. This is the best fucking cover. And not just because my girl is on here. It's the... It's the... <laughs> this is the best goddamn cover. Because it's true. She is body and soul breaking it head on. She's breaking back into this manga head on and she is the A in the ABCs of realizing love because she is telling motherfuckers like it is. Oh my god, I love this. I love, love Yamori and this manga so much. Oh, I love how she's saving this manga. Alright, this chapter is titled The Girlfriend and the Kiss Part 5. Yeah. That's right, kitties. Alright, here we go. A living hell with no one in sight. Is there a, any way out? Uh, February 19th, the passion of Valentine's has yet to fail away. Uh, yet to fade away. I haven't been able to reach Misahara for almost three three months. Oh, no. Of course, there's Godiva. Um, why are you tempting me with Godiva? Godiva's amazing. I wonder, has she blocked me already? Sometimes these feelings can make me feel unsteady, but the End of the day, you're my rock. Mm -hmm. What, kitties? Oh, my 
you silly kitty. He thinks you're being stupid, Kazuya. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Well, hold on a second. I hate, by the way, Reiji, this outfit on Mizuhara is fucking awful. I hate that top so much. Oh, that top needs to burn. That top needs to goddamn burn. It, it does. That skirt... And that skirt can go go in the fire with it. If that was just a full on dress, it would look. Fu if that skirt just continued into her dress, I'd be fine with it. But goddamn, that outfit needs to burn. The shoes are okay, but goddamn it, that outfit is ugly. Oh god, I hate that outfit. All right, god, I mean, like an idiot staring at the chat all the fucking time. Why didn't I think of it before? Actually, if someone blocks you online, you can figure it out by sending them a sticker pack. A secret line trick which uh, condemns you to hell. Send a sticker as a present to your chat partner. It's best to avoid getting into a situation where you need to use this trick in the first place. Even the creator of this method wasn't able to uh, send it immediately to the person they tried it on. Right, kitties? Well, we don't know because we don't have line here. We, we don't have it uh, here. Oh, hi, kitty. Back to count for more. If it says... Uh, Cannot send a present. It means either you're blocked or they already have the sticker. Uh, try this with this uh, sticker that um, your partner definitely won't have. But there's no coming back from that if uh, if it's confirmed you're blocked. I want to know. I don't want to know. But I want to know. I love that it's made on fire. That is everything. That would mean my existence would be be uh, something she just she really just wants to forget. I know. I've been tempted to send certain people messages, but I told myself, no, no, if they want to get in contact with me, if they really cared, if certain people cared, they would reach out to me first. They're got, they've got to make the first move. I'm not doing shit. I'm not going to make the first move on this one. Because I've always done it. Nah, no more. I'm not doing that shit no more. I'm not playing that game no more. No. I've learned my lesson. <sighs> not. Perhaps there's another guy already. Oh my god. God damn it. Are you chatting with another guy over line? My head is only full of you. Oh my god. I know, Cat. He's being stupid. Oh my God! Here we go. Um. God, I'm opening the doors for the depths of hell again. Oh, is my brain is my brain its own being being or something? Yeah. Uh, this is self harm. Um, how many times should I hurt myself before I'm done? Do you wish to send these stickers as a gift? Is it gonna do it? Ah, <sighs> finally, I'm at the conf I'm at the final confirmation screen. So I'm not blocked. What a relief! But that doesn't change the fact I'm being ignored. The hell am I even doing? Um, how nice it would be if she just says that she stopped using her smartphone these uh, these three months to cut down her dependence. That won't answer for um, pretending not to be home though. Oh my god. Tap. Here we go. Um, send her the stickers. Go back, go back. And now, man, I've sent her some weird stickers after being ignored for three straight months. <laughs> Guess I'll die now. Yes? Ah, oh, it's you. Um, ah, oh, it's you. What is it? Thank God. Oh, thank God. Fighting bull. Huh? Ruka-chan? That's what I heard, because she's the one who pushed you uh, two into it. She thinks it's unfair to you, too. She wants to take responsibility for dragging everyone into this situation. Yeah, um, you needed to tell Ruka-chan what you told her before. Back the fuck off. Yuzuhara, so that's what... So she, so she doesn't hate me. 
but I haven't re received a clear answer from her. Although if she understands um, your feelings, she will give an answer some somehow or the other. That's what I uh, feel that Mizuhara san will do. On top of that, she thinks that um, there isn't a word for what she felt behind the kiss. That's what she was saying. A confession went through? She did it on top of that? I don't think someone would uh, kiss someone they don't like, but I'm pretty basic. <laughs> Seriously. Yumori. Oh, Yumori. My, my naive sweet girl. You are basic, my dear. There's nothing I can do if the girl... Either that or you're just trying to, you know... Make him feel better. <laughs> There's nothing I can do if the girl in question doesn't understand it herself. She's right there. Um, I've done everything I can, though. Mm, master? Uh, thank God she doesn't hate me! Jeez, this guy. I know. Thank you, Yumori-san. Yeah! I'm gonna go and, uh, and try asking her. Huh? All this time since that day, I thought she rejected me. No, no not right now! <laughs> you need to go tell Rubichon. You need to go... Bitch, at Rubichon, cause she fucked you over. Sorry, I, I thought it was just a, I, I thought it was just a nuisance for her, and the, and that the kiss meant nothing. And these three months, I thought she hated me, but that's not true. That alone isn't why I'm happy. No matter what changes now, things can't get any worse. If my confession went through, then I want to hear I hear her answer. I'll try and find out how Mizuhara feels all on my own. Well. All right, do it. Let's go. That's right. That's the spirit. Yeah. You know what, Yamori? You should be the one. You know, since he's going to be doing this shit with uh, um, Omizuhara, and he's probably not going to tell Rukachan to back off, you need to be the one to do it since uh, he's busy. Uh, <laughs> I'll be rooting for you with everything I've got. Now you're looking like more like a leading man. Thank you. Best of luck with the cosplay, too. <laughs> I love her. I love this woman. Being resigned to one's fate sounds better than giving up, but giving up in itself is a brave thing. So, how do I ask her? What should I do? Um, should I try apologizing for sending her some weird stickers, or should I try ringing her intercom again? If I call out to her and knock on the door, uh, there's no way she's going to ignore me. Is it true, though, that she's avoiding me because she feels uh, she can't face Rukachan? Uh, like, her morals and mine are uh, kind of different on that point. So, well, yeah, Ruka kind of yelled at her, so... <laughs> uh, so if I bring that up all of a sudden... Uh, but I said this fucking last week. There, there... <laughs> If this was a normal girl code situation, it'd be different. It honestly would be a different situation if it was like that. If it was girl code, Mizuhara would be doing the right thing. It would. She would be doing the right thing. But because it's because Ruka is a bitch and she she not doing girl code shit. Nah, 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 nah. Girl code went out the window the moment Ruka did the shit with the condom, and she fucking yelled at her in the goddamn bathroom, too. I mean... And she was a complete bitch to her, like, when they got back. It's like... It's like, no, there's no girl code there. Like, fuck Ruka's feelings. Again, as I said, this girl code would be different. But no, that one, no, 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 that's gone. Nah, no, 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 that is gone. That is gone, 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 gone. Fuck Ruka at this point. No, fuck her feelings. Fuck all that shit. And Ruka, if you were following, as Ruka was following Girl Code like she should, she would have respected uh, Kazuya's feelings and just gave up. Cause that's what you do. You know, you would know. It's just, it would be a fair fight. Once the man chose, bow out. Let them be happy. Ain't worth it. Ain't worth it over a man's. No, but 
Luca's just a fucking bitch. Oh my god, she's a bitch. She Ruka is not worth this, Chizuru. Ruka is not worth this. She is not worth your time. She is not. She is not worth shit. And if you guys are Ruka simps, I feel so bad for you. She is a complete psycho delusional bitch. Not like, uh, she's not like a good... I, would I say she has a fakery like uh, mommy does? No, because she's more up front. She, she works at the delusional drive-in theater. She don't run a fakery. She'll, mm, she might sell fakery goods at, at the delusional theater, but nah, she don't run a fakery. Anyways, is it true though that, uh, is it true though, um, that she's avoiding me because she feels she can't face Rukachan? Like her morals and mine are kind of different on, on that point. Yeah, Kazuya, seriously. So if you bring that up all of, a, all of a sudden, she'll look at me like I'm some kind of player? It's her. Uh, Misuhara's accepted. Yay! Ooh. So she didn't hate me after all. Something changed, something's changed inside her. <gasps> yes. So rental, huh? I guess it's easier for her to uh, talk that way too. I see. I guess so. Since this is how it all began as a rental. Yeah, since this is how it all began as a rental. Mm-hmm. Mizuhara, Mizuhara. March 1st, um, Harajuku. God, it's our first time seeing each other in three months. Will you even be able to put a sentence together? This is awkward. I'm nervous as fuck. But she doesn't hate me. Should I, I should, I, oh my god. But she doesn't hate me. I should feel confident. And Yamori-san's, oh, well, in Yamori-san's words. Besides, I'm prepared. Huh? This is quite unusual. Misahara usually arrives a bit ahead of time. She's cutting it close. Check her out. Uh, you're the only one who isn't checking her out. Has she been uh, here for 10 minutes already? Checked out twice. Um, hit on thrice. All in just 10 minutes. You were counting? Is she waiting for someone? Uh, she looks uh, restless. She's clearly on a date with her boyfriend. Seriously, what kind of oh um in over his his, uh, his boyfriend makes someone like like her wait? <laughs> Seems like some uh, people in this world really haven't made. There she is. Ooh, she nervous. That pounding of the hearts is the sound of resolve. The date of fate kicks off next time. Next chapter, the birthday week, we are getting the date. I am happy. I am being true. This is a good birthday present for me. I will accept it. I will accept this birthday present. I will. This is fine by me. This will be a good birthday present for me. I am being very spoiled. I am being spoiled that I am. Especially if Certain rumors are true, and I'm going to be getting a, a really good announcement on Sunday. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, well, Sunday is my birthday. If I get the announcement on my birthday that I hope I'm going to be getting, oh, my God, it's going to be an amazing birthday for me. Plus, I get Ghost Trooper Girl next week. Oh, my God. This is my birthday week. In terms of the MAGA gods, they are going to be spoiling the shit out of me. IRL wise, I don't know. My life is gonna be uh, IRL wise is very up in the air. But goddamn. Next time is afternoon tea. But let's take a before we get into other things here. Let's take a look at this outfit here. Mm. Well, it is cold outside, so because it, it's March first, so I will give the turtleneck a break. I like the earrings. The earrings are cute. Ah, the jackets are okay. I need to see if those are pants or a skirt. Because if those are, like, if those are pants, like, I, I'd love them if they were pants. If they're, like, if they're um, wide leg pants, like tuxedo pants or something. I don't think they're tuxedo pants. But if they're, like, wide leg pants, I would like them. If they're a skirt, I don't know how I'll feel about them. I hope they're pants. Like, I think they are. But... Mm. Yamori, I love you, woman. You are the fucking saving grace of this manga. 
you are just continuing to win. But something I would love to see is I would love to see Amori just fuck up Ruka. Well, not physically, obviously, verbally. Especially since Ruka says that she's supposed to care for Kazuya and is her at least uh, his friend and shit. Ruka, if you're at least Kazuya's friend, you would want him to be happy. Because I'm going to point... That's the other thing I'm going to point out here. Because Ruka says she's Kazuya's friend. Bitch, you say you're Kazuya's friend? You would want him to be happy. You wouldn't be doing this shit either. You are just being a delusional, selfish bitch. Chizuru, you should not be doing any of this shit for Ruka. You are using Ruka as a fucking excuse. I'm hoping that, hoping that's what it is, that you are just running, using Ruka as an excuse. I know you are just... Uh, because people, someone was saying on um, Twitter, so um, in response, because I posted a pic of uh, Yamori saying that she's the real queen, and she was saying, um, and the person respond, uh, someone responded that she's the only unproblematic girl. I'm like, no, 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 you don't, no, no, don't say unpro, uh, don't say problematic, no, no, no. I hate that. I don't like you using problematic, no, 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 no. Shit pisses me off. And something I just said, especially when it comes to Jizuru, because I really relate to Jizuru in terms of um, what she's going through emotionally. So it's just like, I, I can't, I can't with that shit. But in terms of Jizuru, I understand why she's, you know, using Ruka as an excuse. Because she's, she's running away. She's trying to find any excuse in the book to not face her feelings. Because her feelings are just so messed up. Um, because remember, she is not that far. Well, even if she was like a year into the grieving process, she's still in the grieving process. So her emotions are still all jumbled. And you're expecting her to like get into a relationship. So it's, I, I understand I do. I understand where she's coming from. And she's trying to find an excuse to just, like, find it any way out that she can. So I understand, because she doesn't want to face herself. Nah. I understand that. I do. I really, really do. And she used Ruka as an excuse. And it really... And I'm... I think Yamori even said that she's using Ruka as an excuse. So, like, yeah, but as I said, if she's going to use Ruka as an excuse, it's a little bullshit. That's my point. It's a load of bullshit. You can't use Mommy as an excuse. You know you can't use Mommy as an excuse. Because Mommy's a bitch, and uh, she knows that. But using Ruka as an excuse is a load of shit. You know this woman. No. You, no don't use Ruka as a fucking excuse. No. No, no, no. And Ruka, you a dumbass bitch, too. Because you didn't mention that you, you didn't even tell Kazuya. Because, remember, she said Kazuya was her friend. She cared about Kazuya. She didn't even tell Kazuya what Mommy was doing. Bitch, you ain't Kazuya's friend. You are just a selfish bitch. Because... Again, my ex-boyfriend was my best friend first. Anyone talked shit about him. Anybody did any shit to him that I knew about. Or was going to do any shit to him that I knew about. I told him right away. I was not an asshole like that. If you want to do shit to my any of my friends, doesn't matter the gender. I tell them. Because I do not like that. I do not play like that. That's not fucking cool. Don't do stupid shit like that. No. Tell them to their face. Don't talk shit about people behind their back like that. No. Yeah, I may stir the pot. But still. Don't do not do stupid shit like that. Come on, man. That's why I'm like, Ruka, you are a, you are a horrible person. Is she as bad as Mommy? Mmm. Obviously. <laughs> she's scheming. She's scheming. 
but is it as bad as mommy scheming? I don't know. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think it's as bad as mommy scheming, but it's really up there. Ruka is a horrible, horrible person. A horrible, selfish person. She's like mommy's apprentice, so to speak. But nah, she's nowhere near as bad as mommy, but oof, Ruka, you are, you are up there. You've done some really shitty things up in here. You have. And I really hope that you more. Please, Reiji, please have Yamori put this bitch in her place. I would love to see it. I would love Yamori to put this bitch in her place. I would. Love to see it. Love to fucking see it. I would love to see Yamori put mommy in her place too, but I don't think she's gonna put mommy in her place. That's ask I think that's asking too much. But put Ruka in her place. Please. If she puts mommy in her place, I would fucking love it too. But, oh my god. If Yamori and Shizuru team up and put mommy in, their, mommy in her place, oh my god, that would be fucking amazing. And, it, oh my god, I could picture it. Have Yamori call mommy out on her bullshit and on her projection. Oh my god, can we please get this? Reiji, that would make this manga so fucking amazing. Because that's, that's the problem I've had with Mommy. With the how the arc ended. Um, last arc ended. is because Mommy didn't get called out on her shit. If you have, like, either Nagomi or... Um, I really want Nagomi to call Mommy out on her bullshit. But if you have Yamori call uh, Nagomi out on her bullshit and bring Jizuru in with her to do this shit... Oh man, even if it's just Yamori by herself calling uh, uh, mommy on her bullshit, I'd be stoked. But I, nah, Chizuru need to be with her on that front. Because that's what I wanted her and I wanted Ruka to do with her, is call her on her bullshit. But God damn it, I need that so bad. Because mommy need to pay for her fuckery. And that's the best way to do it. You gotta, have a, you gotta have backup. Mm-hmm. I'm really curious what you guys think. Do you guys think that um, once everything is done here, that, or fuck, maybe even, if we don't get the date next week and we see Yamori do some, do some badassery and go in on uh, Ruka or go in on Mommy, I would just fucking live. Please, I would be fine with that too. Reiji, I do not give a shit if you do if we don't have the date next week and you do this instead. I would be stoked. That's what I want. I want the date. I want I want mom Ruka to get destroyed by Yamori and I want mommy to get destroyed by Yamori. If Nagomi ain't gonna do it, Yamori the next best thing. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think of this. I'm excited for this date. I am, but god damn it, I want to see Amori just fuck everyone up. Oh my god, can we, I just want that, please. That would make up for the fuckery that happened at the end of the last arc, at least in my opinion. I'm not being biased, these are just facts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Again Zinc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive and kick in so I can keep bringing you more uh, Rent Your Girlfriend content. A few ways to, uh, you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerd Again I'll be seeing you later.